We have learned an elderly woman was rescued during a deadly overnight apartment fire by Benbrook police. One man died. Others had to jump from second story windows to survive this. Joel Thomas, live at the St. Nichols Apartments in Benbrook. Well, if you take a look, you'll see that fire actually started up on that breezeway where most of the damage is. Look to either side and you'll see those windows. Those, were, those windows are where people had to jump out to escape the flames. Police officers and firefighters raced to the scene to save people in neighboring apartments. They came banging on my door, and uh, that's all I heard was the police and the fire departments banging on my door. That's how they, that's how they got everybody, you know, everybody's attention. Fire roared through the breezeway, trapping some renters in their apartments. I made their second and so I was screaming. And I screwed up, I was screaming. We got to go out the front door and it was already engulfed. Two women jumped from upstairs windows. One of them thought her longtime boyfriend was right behind her, but he apparently died trying to save their three dogs. Downstairs, police rescue an elderly woman who can't get out of her window. Uh, the officers did uh, force entry into several apartments that were close by, and, and they actually uh, assisted one elderly female out of her apartment and got her to safety. A dozen apartment units are damaged. Many people report their battery-powered smoke detectors did not go off. A reminder to everyone, firefighters say, of the value of checking smoke alarm batteries. It's not so much that you want your smoke detector to work for you, but your smoke detector needs to work for everybody else inside the apartment unit. Your residents, your, your neighbors, you need to take care of your neighbors as well as yourself. Now, the county fire marshal is investigating. They say they know the fire started outside on that breezeway, but they say they won't know how it started until sometime late next week. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.